The Gun Shop Show, the Gun Shop Show, what is it? We don't know. The Gun Shop Show, the Gun Shop Show, here we go, it's the Gun Shop Show. Hey, you're watching the best of the Gun Shop Show. Here's us from episode number 16 when we visit the Bonnie and Clyde hideout in Joplin, Missouri. To the Gun Shop Show, I'm your host, Eli Bruton, coming to you from the sales floor of Liberty Tree Guns, the best gun shop in the world. I want to ask a favor. Yes. We would like to break a record today. And we can do that if you share the feed. So, got a popular topic. We're talking about the guns of Bonnie and Clyde. And we need your help spreading the word for the show. So, do that by sharing the feed. Please, 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 please. And I also want to take a second to thank our flagship sponsor, U.S. Law Shield. U.S. Law Shield is a great company. They uh, are. And I can legitimately say the more I get to know them, the more I believe that. Um, what U.S. Law Shield is, is legal defense for your self-defense. And they have no limits, no caps. They will represent you if you use your gun in self-defense, any non-heinous act. So as long as you are not Bonnie and Clyding it, you can uh, use their services. So uh, thanks to U.S. Law Shield, the best way to sign up for that and get two free months of coverage is to go to uslawshield.com and use promo code. So you click join now and then use promo code Liberty Tree, all one word. And you're going to get two months for free, and you're going to get upgraded automatically to Platinum Plus, which is a rate lock. So uh, it's 10.95 a month, and it'll never go up um, as long as uh, the, for the life of your membership. Mm -hmm. Trevor, you were trying to signal me. I'm sorry I didn't catch what was written on there. Were you just telling me times? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to roll the video of our visit to the hideout in Joplin. Here we are at the Bonnie and Clyde garage apartment where they hid out. Clyde Barrow, Bonnie Parker, Buck and Blanche Barrow, and W.D. Jones rented this apartment and holed up inside for several months. On April 13, 1933, law officers from Joplin Police Department and Newton County seeking suspected bootleggers approached the dwelling. The outlaws opened fire on them, killing Joplin Detective Harry McGinnis and Newton County Constable J.W. Harriman. The Barrow gang escaped, leaving behind a roll of Kodak film that yielded the first publicly seen photographs of the infamous gang. The owners of this apartment have graciously uh, allowed to give us a tour to show some of the history that happened here and I have some interesting things that I want to point out that are relevant to Bonnie and Clyde's use of guns during their stay here. It's apparent when you study Bonnie and Clyde that their decision making was not just by chance. They chose their vehicles, their firearms, and we're learning now even their housing carefully to make sure that they won if there was a gun battle. And that's many of the features of this apartment are very apparent for those reasons. First you'll notice that it's stone. So the stone construction made it uh, you know, impenetrable to bullets. Let's go inside and check out some new stuff. And the original door was right here, and it had bullet holes from the shootout uh, in it. It has since been donated to a museum. We'll go inside. Much of the historic nature of this apartment has been preserved. The floors are original, uh, most of the woodwork, obviously some of the furnishings have been updated, but um, you very much get the feel and you can imagine Bonnie and Clyde hiding out here. Take a look at the floor here. It was common for men to take their 
knives and be seated in a chair and drop them and try to stick them in the floor. And it's apparent that this is what's happened here. And also, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the camera right on this portion of the floor, but it looks like there's a C, um, a C that has been carved out, which maybe stands for Clyde. One of the most amazing uh, decisions that Bonnie and Clyde made and their gang made when they selected this apartment was they chose this because of the second story and also the 360 degree views. So if you look anywhere within this apartment, you can see out, which means they would know ahead of time if someone was approaching the apartment and be able to return fire or open fire uh, before the officers or whomever were coming after them. So we've been told that this was Bonnie and Clyde's room and then other members of their gang stayed here in this bedroom. The owner said this is the perfume that Bonnie wore. It's called Blue Waltz. They actually still make it and you can still get it. There's little elements of that historical artifacts all throughout this apartment, which is now available to be rented on Airbnb. Now let's check out these articles real quick. But what we do, imagine a lot of these houses probably were not there during this stint in the 30s. But even with the houses here, person can get a perspective and theoretically and potentially even fire straight out these windows. And we know um, from the accounts of what happened that the living room windows are where some of the shots were fired that ended up killing um, the Joplin detective. Here's some of the articles from the era. What's so interesting about this particular apartment is until then, Bonnie and Clyde were heard of. They were known outlaws, but no one knew what they looked like because obviously they were on the run. Some of the photographs, which we'll show throughout the show, uh, were not only taken before, but also taken here in the apartment and uh, then later developed, giving us some of the most you know, accurate and timely photos of the two of them. The owner tells us that according to accounts from members of the gang, this closet is where they kept their machine guns. And at night, they would pull them out and clean and maintain them while the women worked on puzzles. And we know this is the window that the officer was shot from during the famous gun battle. Here's something we noticed. Is that graze from a bullet? No way to know for sure, but it looks like it could be to me. One thing I definitely have to show you in here, one of the bullet holes that has never been repaired from the shootout that remains intact. Pretty incredible. It was a neighbor who noticed that the gang stayed up all night, slept all day, never went out, uh, and had all of the groceries delivered. They ultimately called law enforcement and they thought there were some bootleggers, some folks selling illegal alcohol during, the, uh, during that era, which is why law enforcement showed up so unprepared for the gun battle that they would have here. Bonnie and Clyde obviously believed in having the most firepower possible. They also believed that their car should give them an advantage against police. So they rented this little garage out back where they kept a second escape car in case they needed to flee. So in order to have the long run of the criminal spree that they did, they had to make choices about their surroundings and they chose this apartment based on the structure and the advantages that it gave them. This apartment was an incredible sight to see. You can really feel the history here. If you'd like to get a closer look, you can actually rent this apartment on Airbnb. We'll put the link in the show notes. Hey, 
There you go. Bring me back on the audio. Now Thanks. we're back. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that was our trip to the Bonnie and Clyde hideout in Joplin. Uh, really was... Um, a place where you could feel mm. the history soaking through. Absolutely. Um, so if you have not uh, used Airbnb, I'm going to put my referral link to Airbnb in uh, the the show notes as well as the feed. Uh, you'll also get some freebies when you join Airbnb, Airbnb through that link. And then if you just type in Bonnie and Clyde uh with the search results, uh, you will find that apartment. And for the radio listener, um, this uh, apartment, and, and Trevor, if you can go uh, pull up the original photos of it from back in the 30s, it looks pretty similar today. This is a two-story structure. It was mostly built as a garage with a living quarters on the upstairs as sort of a bonus. And so what you had was an elevated, armored, 360 degree um, hideout that they could fire from. And I've heard conflicting stories about the gun battle. Uh, if you're looking on screen, you can see what this thing looked like uh, back then. Still room, you know, it's basically a two car garage with windows all the way around. Basically looks pretty much the same. Yeah, mm -hmm. it looks the same today, um, mm -hmm. but pretty incredible place. Um, and it's just a reminder that our choices have an outcome when it, uh, when it comes to survival. And one of the things that I say in all of our training courses is we're all here because we want to increase the likelihood that we survive. Bonnie and Clyde, unfortunately, used decisions that helped them win those battles and it made an impact. Stay tuned to The Gun Shop Show. Hey, Adam and Lauren. Uh, thanks for jumping on here so we can make an ad for the show. Yeah, absolutely. We're huge Second Amendment advocates and a big support of the Liberty Tree and the Gun Shop Show. All right, so for the ad, we're going to want to go over what you offer. We do all the standard auto, home insurance, life insurance. We also do a lot of rental property, whether that be commercial rental or residential duplexes, apartment complexes, single family dwellings. And we have specialty policies for all your firearms. Well, you have commercial coverage on my uh, rental properties so we can put that in the ad too and i was thinking that we'll talk about how you're big supporters of the store and how you come in the store pretty much every day on your lunch break and buy guns maybe don't mention the everyday thing because my wife does watch the show but we've been known to come in occasionally every once in a while all right guys i think that we have everything we need to make an ad so once i get it done i'll give you guys a holler to check it out trevor don't put it in the ad but those guys are in here literally every day on their lunch break. Hey everyone, The Gun Shop Show is brought to you by Carthage Lock and Key. If you need anything to do with a lock or a key to success. Did they tell you to say that? No, I, I just thought it sounded good. They have a mobile service, so they can come to you and cut pretty much any kind of key to success. Or if you lock your keys in your to car. Success. I'm talking even security modern chip keys. To success! Trevor, could you just, just jingle the name of the oh, business? Okay. 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 Yeah, I'll do good this time. So, with all of my properties and all of the needs I have, I trust... Carthage Lock and Key! To success! It's been a pleasure over the last 18 months serving both the Mount Vernon and the Carthage community with all their wireless needs, whether that's small business or keeping your family connected. Visit us at 100 George E. Phelps Boulevard, Carthage, Missouri, or 417-317-6342. If you need a simple upgrade to add a line or need help with a plan change, come by and let one of our representatives help you out. Our Mount Vernon location is located at 318 West Mount Vernon Boulevard. Our phone number is 417-737-9669, or you can visit our Facebook page at Verizon Wireless Mount Vernon. We have all the accessories for your favorite models, such as the S20 Ultra, maybe it's the 11 Pro Max, or the Google Pixel 4. For just a simple plan change, an upgrade, or to add a new line to your account, stop by one of our convenient locations or check us out on social media to get connected or stay connected to Verizon Wireless, the nation's best network. Thank you. We will see you soon. 
This is Russell. I, I gotta go. It's time for the gun shop show. This is the best of the gun shop show. We've been checking the voicemail for a very long time. Here's us from episode number one, the very first time we checked the voicemail. Gun shop show is your inside look. Wait a minute, I know what that sound is. It's time to check the voicemail. Logan, are you excited to check the voicemail? Yeah, sure. Um, what's a voicemail? You don't know what a voicemail is? No. So, it's when someone calls you and you don't answer, it's what they leave you. Well, a text. Ooh, no, 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 Snapchat. It's like Snapchat. <laughs> no, it's... Trevor... Logan is too young. Can you explain what a voicemail is? Yeah, I think he just graduated from diapers, actually. Wait, time out. People still call people? Okay. You're just going to have to follow along. I'll, let me show you. I'll get my voicemail phone out. And it's under my desk here, so just give me a second. All right. Then I just need to access the voicemail box. Uh, Logan is clearly not that excited to check the voicemail because he doesn't know what it is. So, I think we need to hype it a little bit. Trevor, could you give us a little hype for checking the voicemail? Okay, here we go. We're checking the voicemail. I don't... That was a little underwhelming. Not, hi- be, I'm, not hypey enough? I'm no. not excited could about you, it. I'm going to ask you to do better. Uh, all right, let me zen. You know, sometimes I task you. I say, you can do better than that. This is one of those times. Can you... I'm going to do it. I'm going to need a little more hype. Oh. Is that a, is, oh, you plug it in the guitar? Let's, let's try a little more hype. Put a little more hype on it for me, Trevor. Let's see if this does it for you. Are you ready to check the voice man? All right, that did it. Let's finish accessing the account here. All right. I think I'm in, ready to check the voicemail. Let's play the first one. Hello, Eli. This is Guy in Carthage. I wanted to ask, uh, what's your advice to a first-time buyer and people who aren't familiar with uh, carrying a firearm personally on, on, their, on or about their person? Thank you. All right. Thanks, Guy. That's a great question. I get this one a lot, and uh, I think people go about it the wrong way. The advice they get a lot is go find the gun that's most comfortable in your hand. And that's a mistake. You know, they say find the one that you're most comfortable shooting. The truth is you are going to carry this gun way more than you're going to shoot it. So it's important that it's comfortable for you to carry. I always recommend carrying the most firepower that you can comfortably carry. Because a great big powerful gun with lots of rounds, that's in your center console of your vehicle or in uh, your nightstand is not as good as a compact gun, which you might actually like to shoot less. But as long as you can be effective with it, uh, that is the key. So I urge you to look at comfort, a good holster, a good way to carry it over just whether or not you enjoy shooting it the most. All right, let's check the second one. Yeah, this is Dan in Web City. My question is, uh, next time you go uh, deer hunting, which is best to use, a three hundred six or a thirty thirty? That's my question. All right. Thanks, Dan. He's asking, which is which is better for deer hunting, 30 out 6 or thirty thirty? And um, both are more than plenty effective to take down a deer, but they are dramatically different. And if you're watching on... YouTube or Facebook Live, as our show is also broadcast as well as the radio, uh, I'm going to show you a couple cartridges the best I can here. Um, these are dramatically different calibers. Both will take a deer. Both have taken many deer. I would say, in all likelihood, uh, 3030s probably killed more deer, deer hunting in the United States than any other caliber on earth. But it's a fairly antique caliber. If you look here, you can kind of see, um, if you're watching on camera, it's a shorter round. It looks a little different than most modern rounds. It's got a longer neck. It's got a rimmed cartridge. Um, 
and it's effective out to a couple hundred yards. You might be able to stretch it a little beyond that, but you're going to have quite a bit of drop from a 30-30. The velocity is not as high. 30-06 is truly a long-range caliber. It's been around a long time. It was, it's a military caliber. Um, some of our snipers in the Vietnam era used Springfield bolt actions, uh, four sniper rifles. So if you want to shoot hundreds of yards up to a thousand yards, you could uh, very well opt for the 30-06. Either one is more than effective in our area for taking deer. 30-30's kind of got that old school charm, going to be limited in its distance. 30-06 is going to be a long range caliber uh, that also is going to be more than effective uh, for taking a deer. All right. Hope that answers that for you. Let's move on to uh, voicemail, uh, the next one. Uh, hello, Eli. This is Terry uh, calling from Joplin. I've always wondered um, what prompted you to get out of law enforcement and open a gun shop. I think that would be interesting. Thank you. All right, Terry. The answer to that is indeed interesting, and there's a... There's a little chapter in my history in between those two things, in between leaving law enforcement and opening a gun shop, and that is a drill-powered chicken plucker that I invented. And What's that? We don't have time for me to tell that whole story. It's uh, as ridiculous as it sounds, so uh, just know that I invented a drill-powered chicken plucker, and it changed the course of my life, and sometime on this show... I will tell the story, but we're running out of time, so we'll go to uh, the next one. Hi, my name's Greg, and I'm from Carthage, Missouri. I just wondered, um, I was checking my uh, bank account today, and somebody named Donald Trump left me $1,200 in my account. And what I want to know, am I better off buying one really nice AR-15 with this money, or just two average brand because i'm really excited thank you uh bye what a great way to spend your government stimulus check what what do you guys think what better to spend it on for sure i'm all for it i think security there's, there's probably some liberal politicians that would be flipping their lids if they heard what we just heard <laughs> Um, so real quick before we head to the break, I will give you the answer that thankfully for you, you can buy two AR-15s for around that uh, that $1,200 budget. You might go over a little bit for the ones that I have in mind, but um, I'm going to show you more during the gun showcase, which comes up in the next segment. But Greg, to answer your question, I would get two and I would urge you to consider one in 5.56 and one in nine millimeter, some really good options. And nine millimeter ARs are just a lot of fun. Correct me if I'm wrong, Eli. Two, uh, you could use one uh, in each hand, correct? That would be the sufficient a number of ARs, one for each hand? Theoretically, you could do that. Um, from a practical standpoint, that's probably a whole separate discussion. Mm -hmm. And um, the good news is we can try it. <laughs> we, we, we have the power. We have the power. We can we try, it. try it. We can check out the logistics of that. Um, so we are going to continue checking the voicemail right after the break on the Gun Shop Show. Hey everybody, Eli here, and I'm really excited to tell you that the Gun Shop Show is brought to you by one of my favorite places on Earth. Located here in my hometown of Carthage on the beautiful historic square, the Emporium on the square, and the Woodshed. It's a art gallery, an event center, a gift shop, they have art classes, and there's very unique Americana artwork from famous artists like Andy Thomas. They handle a lot of his original framing. Just has this incredible old school vibe, and you can feel the history coming through 
through, have to check out the art gallery, but then as you work your way to the back, my favorite part, the woodshed. Had a lot of great meals in here. They've got burgers. I love their catfish. Excellent. Chicken and waffles even. It's incredible. And it's also a music venue, so we got to see my favorite band of all time, the Ben Miller Band. Ceiling was literally raining down. They were rocking so hard, but the best thing owned by one of my favorite people on earth. That's Cherry Babcock. Check out the Emporium on the Square and the Woodshed. Hey, podcast listeners and live stream viewers. I wanted to let you know that the Gun Shop Show is made possible by our friends at MidAmerica RV. Being in the customer service industry, I have a really high standard for how customers are treated. MidAmerica RV does it right. I've got my RV through their dealership and I've taken it all over the country. Uh, we made it to South Padre Island. We've gone to Colorado several times. And if you've ever owned an RV, you know there's a lot that comes with it. So who you get it from matters. And it's extremely important that you have support after the sale. Uh, They're located just outside of Carthage. They have a really vast inventory and they are home of, I believe they call it a forever warranty. So I urge you, if you're in the market for one, to check them out. Uh, It's a really fun and can be very affordable way to get your trips in. So visit them at midamericarv.com. We appreciate their support of the Gun Shop Show. If you you're in the market for a travel trailer or fifth wheel, check out Mid America RV. The Ruger Security 9 LTO, an exclusive new firearm only from Liberty Tree Guns. This is an affordable pistol that comes with Ruger's renowned reliability and worksmanship and comes with an optic with a three-year warranty. If you haven't ever shot a pistol with an optic on it, it's a lot of fun and you can really acquire a target quickly. Ruger Security 9 LTO unboxing. So it pretty much obviously comes with everything the Ruger Security 9 would already come with. And this is how they look in the box. Ruger started doing this insert in the box, which is kind of nice. Um, we've had to modify it a little bit to make sure that your optic fits. So there's a cutout so the cover can go on and then the gun can fit right here in that. Um, they come with two mags, so a lot of price point guns, you're just getting one mag, but you get two 15 round whoops, um, OEM mags. A couple little bonuses is the optic comes with the AR mounts. So if you want to pull this optic off and run it on an AR, you've got everything that you need. That's a freebie, just comes in the box. Once we pull this insert out, Here's where all the goodies that come with the optic. Got a three year warranty on the Firefield optic, the user manual. It has the the, uh, tools for both mounting the optic if you wanna take it off, and also the adjustment screwdriver for the windage and elevation, and then all of the factory information for your pistol. So um, this is the format that those will come in. And again, guys, remember this is an option if you are excited to try out an optic on a pistol uh, and you want to do it for a price point. So these at this price are cheaper than some uh, guys are paying for just an optic. You're getting the gun and the optic. You can get the price and all the details at libertytreeguns.com. Just search LTO. Hey there. We got your lab results back. It looks like you have a fever. And the only prescription is more Gun Shop Show. This is the best of the Gun Shop Show. Here's us in an interview with Austin Peterson. Virginia, I bought one uh, probably around 2012 or so and kept it for a few years on my desk. Something to talk about. People liked the conversation piece. You know, really nice replica of it. And... um, 
when I ran for president, I took it with me to the presidential convention. It was President's Day that we had the vote, who was going to be the Libertarian Party's nominee. And, you know, I knew that there was, you know, a small chance that I would win, but if I lost, then as a symbolic gesture on President's Day, I would give that gift as a sign of my support and respect to whoever the winner was, ultimately it was Gary Johnson, and, and say, here, you have my support, my respect, and my gun, meaning I'll, you know, go to battle for you, right? Yeah. It's, it's a symbol. That is a great symbol. Yeah, and... Uh, he uh, chose a vice presidential candidate, a guy by the name of Bill Weld, kind of a liberal guy from yeah. Massachusetts, Republican right. a guy from Massachusetts. And I didn't endorse, they you know, were demanding I endorse this guy, and then I didn't. Um, so Gary threw that gun in the garbage. And Seriously? <clears throat> what? So no that, way. That photograph is after the incident. I, that is, uh, for me, you can, yeah. no, no. If you go to Fox right. News, there's an article from like 2016 wow. that, that tells the story because Fox News found out about it, contacted Gary Johnson. He said, yeah, I threw the gun away, you know, and I'd do it again, you know. God, <laughs> so, damn. Wow. So, Gary Ed, Johnson. My, my supporters First of all, found it and brought it to me. I don't care how much disagreement or beef you have with something. At least bring it and put it on consignment at Liberty Creek. <laughs> No joke. I rescind my vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, but that became a big ordeal. So now that gun, because they tried to buy it back when the news started breaking, they were like, you know, we'll give you fifteen hundred dollars for it, and then we're like, we'll give you just a blank check. Just please give us back this gun. And so now I'm like, uh, now this thing's worth thousands. The and Johnson campaign did that. They yeah, they sent intermediaries wow. to come like wow. at the day after the convention to come talk to me and buy it back. But I kept it because I was like. Man, the value of this thing just skyrocketed. So I think I'm going <laughs> to keep it. <laughs> what a great story. What a great story. So we call out the garbage gun. Interesting. So yeah. th that was a way better answer than I expected you to get. It's a about good story. What the, yeah, it is a good there's story. a video clip on C-SPAN you can find of me like crying, giving, the, <laughs> giving him the gun. Really? You, know, you have my support, my respect, and my gun. And then he takes it. And, and then, then later just ditches it. Does, what a heartbreaking garbage. story. Well, that is great. Uh, good content. <laughs> good content for the show, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so the other question was, uh, we as gun owners seem to be constantly fending off politically attacks on gun rights, chipping away. Uh, you know, there was a scandalous article of me in the Joplin Globe where I said, you know, I don't have the greatest confidence in Donald Trump on guns. I said, I don't know where he stands, except for he's a New Yorker. He doesn't, he didn't grow up like I did. You know, he's a deal maker. I'm just saying we need to be careful during this, this term that he might compromise if there's something he really wants, like a border wall or whatever. People said, you're crazy. And the next thing you know, he's uh, entertaining executive orders to ban certain accessories like bump stocks. And so we're constantly, if anything, what are we giving up or what are we compromising on? You've taken uh, an interesting stance, which I uh, tend to agree with, is instead of constantly being on the defense of trying to keep bans and restrictions on gun ownership happening, we should be pushing for less restrictions to uh, repeal laws that restrict gun ownership. So in your opinion, what would that look like? Where would we start? Well, anybody who's good at the art of the deal, I mean, if you've read the art of the deal, then you know that you should always in any negotiation ask for more than you think you can get. Um, if I do any business transaction, especially with somebody that I don't really know that well, <clears throat> I tend to ask for more than I think that I can get just because typically what happens is, is they're going to negotiate and I'm going to lose part of that. And then I'm going to fall back to the position that I right. really want to be at. Right. Um, if you want to look at it in like a real politic world, like one of the reasons I think why Israel seeks to expand settlements on their borders is because they know that that keeps the enemy from, at the gates from shrinking it. Yeah, <clears throat> correct. So they, they, they go for more than they think that they can get because they know that they've got to try and protect themselves and their borders. Right. So it, it should be like that for us policy wise. But I think that because we've so softened our society, uh, I, can I say candy ass on the radio? Or? Uh, that's not one of the seven words. As far as I, I don't know. believe so. We, we listened them all off last we, week. We've become <laughs> very soft uh, and we've softened our language. We use a lot of euphemisms to describe mm -hmm. things. Somebody passes away. Right. Uh, but um, 
Yeah, you they know, don't die. They, they don't pass die. They, they pass away, right. So because of this, we have been loath to be out and about, because, and because the media are out there with the cancel culture and, you know, ready to destroy anybody they can. And I'll, I'm, I'm sure I'll get comments, you know, for wearing this Hawaiian shirt because of the boogaloo connotations, right? And it's like, but if you don't push... The, ba- the boundaries, if you don't push the barriers for your side and for your cause, they will most assuredly push them against you. Yeah. They will most, because their stated aim is very clear and very honest and open about what they want to do f- to disarm us and to economically disincentivize us. And we have the mistaken instinct to hunker down. Well, at least we got this. At least we have our ARs. Well, at, least at least we didn't look like we're crazy in the Joplin Globe. Uh, yeah. The Joplin Globe didn't write a piece on me today. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and if they do, we're, oh my God, the Joplin Globe. Who gives a crap? How many people read Job and Grove? No offense. No one. No one. Nobody. It's true. Nobody reads it. I read it every day. They probably you'd clip it for the coupons, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. How did you know <laughs> that? Some sweet deals. How in does there? he know that about you? <laughs> right? so I, sw- I wear it. Like he a has badge. a whole technique with his coupons and how he retains them. That's right. Yeah. Maybe one of these days I'll share it. Yeah, you're gonna have to sell that. Maybe get yourself a Patreon. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, I'll call it my art of the deal. Right. You know, if there's ever another toilet paper shortage, we can just use that. Let's give an example, though. How would we? Let's pick one topic. What would we go on the offense? I have one in mind, but I want to know what yours might be. Mm. I think we need machine guns back. Yeah, I think we need to I think we need to dismantle the National Firearms Act. I think that making the National Firearms Act in in totality our our goal to try and dismantle that that law the the 1934 is yeah. that what it was? Mm-hmm. 1934 one would be a good idea. Um if not then let's go back in time to like the 1986 assault weapons, you know, transfer bans and things like that so that I don't have to pay $30,000 for your Tommy gun over there. Yeah. You're freaking you Yeah, know, you're, our our friends at Midwest Tactical would have to change up their business model because they deal in those transferable machine yeah. guns and they're a finite resource. Mm-hmm. People buy them as investments. But but that's more than I think we can get, by the way. But, overturning the national But Fashion that's Act. the art of the deal. Yes. And so I've, that's kind of along the lines with what my suggestion was going to be, was to start with suppressors because they're easy to make the argument that this is a safer for hearing. It doesn't make it any more deadly. It makes the gun longer and bigger and less concealable, if anything. So within the, and that falls under the National Firearms Act. But it's, it's hard for even an anti-gunner really to make a valid argument against suppressors. So if we say legalize suppressors, don't make me pay a special stamp, don't make me wait longer to get that, um, I think that would be a good way. So we're, let's have the debate on that instead of whether or not we should be able to own 30-round magazines. Well, but that might be the fallback position, right? So yeah, like, if we're going right. after that NFA, then we're like, okay, so we're not today we're not going to abolish the NFA. But we are definitely going to you know take down the regulations for suppressors and, and all that kind of of stuff so that's what we want right right what we think we can get but if we advocate for that they're gonna they're gonna whittle that down right you know what i mean that's so a great we, point we gotta ask for more than that that's a great point I want more that's that's the art of the deal yeah so um people may hear this segment and want to follow you i know we have a lot of overlapping listeners and followers that already know who you were but if people are discovering you for the first time you are a radio host of your own mm-hmm, yeah. so tell us about your show yeah so my show's uh, in mid-missouri jefferson city it's on kwos news radio it's on 9 50 a.m and 104.5 fm there if you can get it on terrestrial but otherwise you can go to kwos.com and stream it there's uh, an app on iphone and android that's um kwos.com pretty simple to do it there and then our facebook live stream in the morning from six Tonight, it's pretty lit. It's a lot of fun. We usually get a lot of listeners in there. And Do you people- have a porta potty in uh, in your? Live stream no, background? I, I don't. We actually have a bathroom um, <clears throat> for normal people, right? So <laughs> COVID free. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, so you can find me there. But the Facebook live stream, I highly recommend it because it's just a lot of fun. And we do polls and different different things like that in there. And people are really weird. And then usually they'll make a lot of fun, dirty jokes. Yeah. At like that. F- 6 a.m., you know? So. Well, what better time? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people have a bigger appetite for humor than I think they realize. And one yeah. thing that um, the gun shop show is kind of spreading like, wildfire and I think the only thing that's really different for our show compared to a lot of other gun shows is we don't take ourselves too serious. Good, good. We're, we're being funny a lot, and uh, it makes it kind of broadly palatable. And so now we've, we've just added a second station. You know, uh, I, I talked to you off air, but I want to be maybe coming to see you at your station. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. Thanks so Eli. much. And, uh, COVID right there. Come back sometime. <laughs> come back sometime, please. <laughs> been fun on the gun shop show
Buckle up, because belts just got better. With Core Essentials, the perfect fit every time. With 40 plus sizing positions, styles for any situation. Whether in the boardroom, crushing sails and taking names. On your next adventure, in the great outdoors. Or when you're done for the day and ready to relax. Get your perfect fit with Core Essentials. Here's your chance to snatch Santa's stuff at High Winds Casino. Be at High Winds on Saturdays in November and December when 10 players will each get to snatch a prize from Santa's stuff. And on New Year's Eve, one lucky finalist will win Santa's sleigh, a brand new 2021 Jeep Gladiator Sport 4x4 from Vans Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Miami. Entering is easy. Just play with your red card and you'll learn entries for both the Saturday night drawings and the New Year's Eve Jeep giveaway. Snatch Santa's stuff only at High Winds Casino. Land is everything to me. Uh, when I was born, I was brought home to the family farm, uh, was raised, learned work ethic there, learned uh, appreciation and respect for life and the land itself, and it just became second nature. I had to be there all the time. Whenever I wasn't on the land, I was not happy. But I learned to understand the land, learned to respect it, you know, learned family values. You know, my wife and I have bought a farm. Uh, besides the one we live on, and uh, it has just been a, it's been a great investment, and it's been some place that my son and I have shared the passion of hunting together, and you know it's just it uh, you know land has been you know land has been everything in my life. It, it has kind of kept kept me focused and and uh, gave me a place to be. It's kind of kept me grounded. Listen here, Pilgrim. This here is the Gun Shop Show. This is the best of the Gun Shop Show. One of our most popular bits of all time is Stop Right There, which you got to hear from some of our great sponsors mm -hmm. that make the Gun Shop Show possible. Thanks for supporting us. Thank and you. I'll tell you, this is like a full-time job on top of the full-time jobs that i already had yeah and it costs money and so the sponsors they believe in the show they believe in the second amendment they help make it possible if you'd like to become a sponsor you can go to the gunshop click mm -hmm. the sponsors tab send us a message we'll get you yep. fixed up now get you on the roster we were talking about this that straight bold action yeah it, on so straight I'm try to bold action <laughs> Don't care on the <laughs> uh, so it's just a straight pull, which is, um, you know. Oh, there's no rotation. No. Yeah, just no, literally just straight cool. pull. I'm surprised that more companies aren't coming out if with. If it's physically possible, it should just be the way that it is. I think a lot of companies are worried that. Like this, it seems kind of gimmicky. When in, in reality, it's not. It's actually more it's more efficient. It's faster. Well, I, I would know. have to ask: Doesn't like rotating the bolt help lock it into position and make it more secure? So I think, yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, but I think with twenty-two long rifle, you can get by with that. Oh, because there's not that much of a. The, you know, I'm sure there's enough pressure, and there is like you can feel that a there's a locking mechanism lip, that's lip, engaged lip. here. Uh, and there are some companies that have a straight pull ARs and. Um, states that require it where it's like a straight pull on it it's it's similar, oh, pretty much it's so an it's AR like a platform. requirement or something mm -hmm. yeah that way you can have an air platform rifle and also have a straight pull which is quicker than a bolt action interesting um so when i pulled this thing out and saw the finish and rotary mag mm -hmm. straight pull action i fully expected this to be like 899 mm -hmm. it's not no is it like six ninety nine? No. What about like five ninety nine? Nope. Cheaper? I think it's like five forty nine. What? For that grade of wood? Yeah. That quality? Hey man, impressive. that thing looks so nice. You should string it up and use it for checking the voicemail. Oh, we gotta check the voicemail. We do. Yeah, we, we gotta do. check that voicemail. What but else uh, did we get in this shipment? I, I got know. my uh, my Q rifle in. What? You got another one? Yeah, I know. I've been on this like spending spree lately. Oh man, your your gun budget is killing me, uh, dude. It's killing me. I can't keep up with your yeah, gun don't budget. Don't talk to my wife about it. She yeah. I was gonna ask. Is there you're any, married. Is there any? Um, yeah, yeah. Any disagreement on the gun spending in 
in no, it's marriage. it's it's usually like, hey, I want to buy this gun, and she's like, well, I want to buy this, and then we're like, eh, oh, so you can buy it, and then <laughs> we go ahead and buy it. <laughs> so my wife has never been opposed to me buying guns. She would say yes even more than I'll say yes to really? myself. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Well, yeah, I kind of run, run across it myself. So mm. hold that thing up for the sure. people on the Show live stream. Him, what the heck is oh, that? Oh wow, Q. All right. What is the deal with you and Q? I just, I don't know. I kind of like what they make and their innovation and all that stuff. What length of barrel is that? Does Q stand for anything? uh, Well, you can answer that question first. Uh, Uh, No, it doesn't actually. But it's a seven inch barrel. You have a suppressor uh here. Oh, pre suppressed. So you got a short barrel rifle. With a suppressor, yeah. So you got a double NFA item. Wow. Yeah. Wow. kind of suckied. Wow. So, yeah, you have to pay two tax stamps. Yes. Yikes. But that's just as easy as one, pretty much, mm-hmm. on the new kiosk. Yep. Kiosk. All right. And what model is that? AR? It's um, the Honey Badger. The Honey Badger. The, I thought wait, yeah, the honey hang on. I thought you wait, already owned the like honey badger. The Stop right like there. Like an animal. What? what? No, I own the sugar weasel. Uh, what's going on, dude? What are, are you, you doing? Are you? Hey, Eli, you got what? another job you're going to or something? What are you wearing? I know you're working hard, but Eli, what is that? What is it? What it's is this? Time for a segment we call "Stop Right There." Stop right there. Stop right there. Seriously, Q Firearms, you had to make your brand name one letter, 26 letters, and you choose Q. If I was going to choose just one letter, I would have picked A. You know, as in A+, plus, grade A, sweet Tay, and not to mention A is at the beginning of the alphabet. If you're going to sing the alphabet song, you just go, A, and then go ahead and stop right there. The only group of letters that Q stands out in is L, G, B, and T. As in time out. A.K.A. Stop right there. Every time I see the Q logo, it's like I'm getting flashed by a big fat O. How about instead of whipping out your little curly Q, you just call it O and stop right there. And these are your actual product names. Honey Badger, Sugar Weasel, Trash Panda. What's next? Molasses Mink, Stevia Squirrel, Aspartame chimpanzee? Hey, Q Firearms, how about you just go ahead and stop right there? Hey, you in the skinny jeans, go ahead and stop right there. Did you know there's no ammo shortage in Canada? That's right. There's a video out there of a guy going in and finding full ammo shelves inside a store called Canadian Tire. Wait. Stop right there. Apparently, the Canadian version of Walmart is called Canadian Tire. So if you go far enough north, you end up south. Apparently. Because that's the most redneck thing I've ever heard. Hey! You! DoorDash driver, you know that food got cold an hour ago, so you got time to just go ahead and stop right there. (sighs) Makes me half tempted to go fill up a truck full of Canadian ammo. But I have a feeling I'd get to the border and some mounty'd say, Hey, oh boy, you go ahead and stop right there. All makes just about as much sense as Joe Rogan. Moderating the presidential debates. Let me go ahead and just stop right there. You mean to tell me it's a Lincoln Douglas style debate between the host of Celebrity Apprentice and the human version of one of Jeff Dunham's puppets and it's moderated by the guy from Fear Factor? What are they gonna do? 
put the candidates in a tub of baby snakes and whoever stays in the longest becomes president? Hey, 2020, I know the year ain't over, but I think we'd all be fine if you just went ahead and stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. All right. <laughs> that was our segment. <laughs> stop right there. Woo. It looked like you had another job, man. Yeah, I I do what I can in between in your, selling guns yeah, and, and your making shows. Time off, you go yeah. work cross crosswalks. Yeah. It's his hobby, it's his passion. Well, uh yeah, man. That, Chief Firearms really, is by far the most ridiculous manufacturer that I've encountered in re- recent history. At least in terms of branding, and I'm not talking just about the letter, just the fact that their shirts uh are even a little uh the gamer they not, look like gamer not that I'm stuff it's it's eight bit dude yeah, i get that i get that mm-hmm. if you're listening to on the radio it's you know i gotta show. give them this they make good stuff mm-hmm. it's expensive mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. it's hard to deny that it's nice you know it's true just weird names yeah like, uh the erector mm-hmm. right Th- thunder chicken Thunder Chicken. The Fix and Mini Fix. I mean, I will say this. In a catalog, mm-hmm. their names are going to stand out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thunder Chicken. I forgot about that. Jumbo yeah. Shrimp. Is what? that really a thing? What? Yeah. It's a 6.5 no way. can. Mm-hmm. That's against Jumbo all the shrimp. other branding names they have. Everything else is two words that aren't really related, but Jumbo Shrimp is a thing. Yeah. Well. You know what? Q Firearms. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and keep on going. <laughs> Stop right there. Iguana, stop right there. <laughs> Start right here. Speaking of stopping right there, I was trying to pick up the voicemail Uh-oh. phone. Do you need help? And yeah. I'm stuck right here. Oh, okay. man. I'll come. I'll come. Yeah. Uh, I nope. was trying to lift Did it, but I ended up stopping right there. It's pretty full. <laughs> man. There we go. Yeah. All right. If you're joining us on television... You're going to want to stick around for the second half of the show, which is not on TV. That's, no, it isn't. I, I bet you that you came here thinking that you were going to see football, mm-hmm. but you were off by an hour because you no. got drunk last night. <laughs> I, think I got one of them hernias Uh-oh. with a voicemail phone. Get them hernias. Like, like, what the heck is this? Well, yeah, you know what? It's the gun shop show, and we're your friends in the gun business. And the second hour of the show is always available. On Facebook, on the live stream. Yep. That's right. You Finds. can always find the episodes later on gunshopshow.com. Full episodes, True. video, True. audio. Mm-hmm. The whole so shebang. if you're on uh, TV right now and you want to know what kind of questions did they get in their voicemail box? Yeah. Knows, I man. bet they're I'm good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I bet they're interesting. I bet they are. I how so. How are the questions so intense that they make the phone heavy? Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Maybe they're just really heavy we, questions. We have a... Oh, you yeah. got deep. Where yeah. did the universe come from? <laughs> right? Yeah, that's heavy. Um, <laughs> Where did Trevor's dad go? Join us for <laughs> the second hour of the Gun Shop Show. Hey, you know what makes this, the Gun Shop Show, possible? It's people who believe in the show. And someone who has believed in the show from the very beginning is my good friend Chris Chapman, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. Here's a message from Chris. Guys, uh, my name's Chris Chapman, uh, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. And uh, I just want to take a few seconds here to let you know that we are going to be proud sponsors of the Gun Shop Show. And uh, we, we appreciate everything that them guys are doing over there. And we just want to show them our support. Thank you. So whether you have two chickens or 2,000 acres, Chris is your man. Give him a call. I guess that's pretty much the ad. Whitehead Farm Supply. Seriously? Always. It's 
the KZRG Morning News Watch. I'm Peter Thiel. I'm Rob Brown. And I'm Steve Scott. I'm Dalton Evans. I'll tell you what, the Show Us Your Rack promotion, which we're doing here at News Talk KZRG with our good friends at Liberty Tree Guns, your opportunity to win an awesome Beretta Tika T3X bolt action hunting rifle. Plus 500 bucks, and all you have to do is show us your rack. And we mean rack like that. And when you go out and you assassinate, I mean harvest your deer, Very good. take a good picture of its head. Enter it at NewstalkKZRG.com and you're in line to win this amazing contest. Yeah, and it doesn't even have to be from this year's. If you have one from previous years that you know is one heck of a fine rack, you can win with it as well because it counts about how many of your friends really dig your rack. Bada bing, bada boom. Hey, again, NewstalkKZRG.com. Thanks to our good friends at Liberty Tree Guns and the Gun Shop Show for allowing us to be a part of their fun. Now, show us your rack. Go. Steve. No, don't do it. This just in. Huge cave found beneath the heart of the city. Spelunka shared tales of an underground cavern system in Carthage, Missouri. Locals report the entrance to be at 10th and Garrison. Cave Gang Pizza. Stop in and enjoy wings, wood fire pizza made with local ingredients, and our full bar. Bring the whole gang and uncover a legend. People are always asking me, Eli, you seem to get the best deals on things. What is your secret? I Old don't really... glory actions and estate sales. Trevor, I appreciate you jingling, but I have to say the ad part first uh -huh. um, because people need to know oh. about the company. Oh, I thought you wanted me to do And that. then also, it's okay. the whole, it's covering up my yeah. face. So right. Again, um, just, okay, just get together. a picture like from their okay. Facebook page because yeah, that's the best one here. place. And then just put it right up here where the Gun Shop Show logo okay. is. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll do better this and time. And then, uh, and so let me finish the ad, and then you can jingle, okay? Okay. All right, so uh, the best place to go is their Facebook page. Oh, glory actions and estate sales. You know what? Fine. I'll just move in between the graphics and finish telling people that the best place to find out when oh, old glory gl actions and estate sales. I think I got it that time, man. Hey folks, I had to learn the hard way that a good home inspection makes a difference when you're buying a home. Our new sponsor, All Points Inspections, can provide just that. Here's a message from Corey from All Points Inspections. Hey guys, uh, Corey Hines here, uh, owner of All Points Inspections. Up on a roof right now, currently doing a roof inspection, checking for leaks. But I am excited to announce that I am a new sponsor with the Gun Shop Show. Those guys are awesome over there. It's been kind of a Saturday morning routine for me now to join in on the conversations. Uh, just a bunch of good group of guys all around, followers, watchers. Check them out. If you guys need home inspections, give me a call. 417-439-9229. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's Eli at Liberty Tree Guns here at 530 West Fur Road in Carthage, Missouri, and I want to show you a gun collection that we just bought from an individual. A little bit of everything in this one. We wrote a check for 22 guns. Got some newer lever guns, cool Henry Silver Boy, some older shotguns. This is a cool old 410 double barrel. Um, this, was, this was a good mix. There was some newer type stuff some old stuff here, some black powder, some cool Colt, uh, black powder revolvers, newer Rugers, uh, Mark III's, PMR 30, Taurus Judge, couple of Taurus revolvers, got a long slide 1911 right here, and then got uh, this cool Llama 45. We just sold the sister to that gun in 38 super this particular individual this is half the collection that we bought from him and so i just want to remind you that we pay top dollar for entire collections so we'll buy one gun or a hundred from you and uh, we can offer consignment where we sort of establish what these guns are worth and we pay you out when they sell or in the case of this one we offered consignment we discussed it and then we offered a cash 
price, which was a little bit less than the consignment settlement price, uh, but it's quick. It was one check and we paid those all out to this individual. And uh, probably the biggest, baddest, coolest one of the whole mix was this Bushmaster BA-50. Uh, so we have everything from little antique 22s to 50 cows in this one collection. I want to remind you that we'd love a chance to buy your collection. Uh, find us at LibertyTreeGuns.com or here on Fur Road in Carthage, Missouri. See you soon. Hey y'all, it's Mel with Pro Outfitters. Once again, I'm on the go, but I always make time for the gun shop show. The gun shop show, the gun shop show, what is it? We don't know. The gun shop show, the gun shop show, here we go, it's the gun this shop show. This is the show. best of the gun shop show. We all know that beards are better than mustaches, but some people don't agree. Here's us debating with Sheriff Randy Kaiser from episode number five, The Guns of Law Enforcement. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! I am ready to finally settle this once and for all. Indeed, I think it's time. I'm tired of getting text messages where instead of periods, you use mustaches, <laughs> mustache emojis. <laughs> seems it's bold. Fitting. Seems fitting. <laughs> you know, no matter the circumstances, I can you know, communicate with you and you always feel the need to remind me that mustaches are better than beards. Well, it's because they are. That's why I feel the need to remind you of that. I don't want you to be thinking that your beard is somehow better than a mustache. I'm glad that we're doing this. Honestly, it's long overdue. Um, we're going to let the viewers decide. They can be deciding in the comments. And um, I, when this is all said and done, I think we can put this behind us. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. So I've never competed with oh. my beard. I mean, I did oh. get recognized at SHOT Show as one of the beards of SHOT Show, oh, but really? I didn't get an award. I didn't really win anything. Uh, well, that being the case, maybe I should, maybe I should warn you before we get started. Um, my mustache has actually won a competition, and very recently, too. A, yeah. You're an award winner? Yeah, it's a blue ribbon mustache. Fresh off a championship. Big championship, and uh, actually uh, a championship that was decided by uh, the voters uh, of, of Facebook, uh, people in Jasper County, the same people, a lot of the same people that are watching now. So uh, if you want to back out and just go ahead and concede, I'd be okay with that. Trevor, are we still live? We are live. <laughs> okay, all right. I, Take him down. I think I, can, I think I can do this. You sure? Okay. All right, so... Um, what I'd like to do is give each of us a chance. This is a gentleman's debate. Sure. Lincoln Douglas style. <laughs> I'll, be Link I'll be Lincoln. <laughs> we each get our chance to, to say our bit, and I won't interrupt you. Okay. You know, um, I'm not a heathen. And <laughs> you make your argument. I'll make mine. We'll go back and forth, and okay. ultimately w there should be a winner that comes out on top. That makes sense. You go first. I'm just going to list some reasons why the mustache is better than the beard. Here's my first reason. Small electrical rotary devices won't get hung up. Like blenders, mixers, weed eaters, don't get hung up in a mustache. What do you think of that? God, that's a good point. Yeah. You know... It's hard to, hard to argue that. It almost... Disarms my first point. Oh. Um, I didn't expect you to come at me with that, but um, <laughs> because I want, I want to start off heavy. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm already playing from place. behind here. I um, you are okay. Um, let me let me try to deliver it anyway. Even though you just you just hit me with that. Okay. I want to hear you explain the answer to this question. If a little bit of hair on your face is a good thing, how is a lot of hair not a better thing? <laughs> wow. Uh, that's tough. Other than the weed eater argument, I don't think you have an answer for that. <laughs> yeah, this is more stuff, to get hung up, more stuff to get hung up in the, in the blender or the mixer or the weed eater. Okay. 
Number two, and when we hit number two, give us a little more of that. Um, yeah, okay. Go, go with your next option. All right, here's number two. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. Strictly from a practical, pragmatic standpoint, the mustache is cooler in the summertime than the beard. That is an excellent point. Thank you. Ooh, it Thank does you. get hot. Thank you. Mm. How are you going to come back from that yeah. one? Um, yeah, people at home right now are already clicking over on the my favor, my, in my favor. So. Uh, make sure in the comments you let us know, are you team beard or are you team mustache? Team mustache. Um, no, I actually have a scientific theory that uh, refutes that claim. People say you have the heat when you're out, but what they don't know is when you are in the air conditioning... It actually traps the air conditioning in the pockets of the beard. And then you take that air conditioning. It's like a, a to-go container for the air conditioning. And whenever you need some, you just shake it out and cool off that way. <laughs> All right. I'm ready for my second one. If you can. You, you preface that whole thing with scientific. And I'm, I'm going <laughs> yeah, to. Like, he I'm came gonna, at you with yeah. science. If I come. If I, I want to challenge that. With, <laughs> yeah. He wants studies. I will, I'll try to find it and put it in the links. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. Don't check out that scientist too closely. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ready? Okay. All right. Give me a little boost. I'm going to deliver this one. This is kind of my. My second roundhouse here. Give me a little more of that dramatic. Ready? Okay. ZZ Top. I can't believe you used the big guns on that wow. one, man. I'm wow. Team Beard now. <laughs> Try to tell me ZZ Top mm. would be the famous band they are now. If not for the beards. ZZ Top could not... I can't even do it. Yeah. Wow. You know, the. imagine that one of their signature songs, Trevor. You could probably give us an example of one. Uh, or ZZ Top and yeah, my number this, one. Um, that, num that hit? That's not a, that's not a song. <laughs> you know, like, do some ZZ Top. ZZ Top. I don't know that's off not, the top no, of my head. No, that was... Uh, there you go. <laughs> you know, that... You go. Little band from Texas. Right. Yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a tough one, I will admit. Um, but I've heard you sing... So that doesn't. That doesn't <laughs> oh, that's true. But, that cuts deep. Yeah. But have you heard me in the intro to? <laughs> have you heard me playing? This is actually named by our viewers, ZZ Top Gun. ZZ Top Gun. And we use this for the intro of the check in our voicemail segment. All right. So uh, I think it's your turn. All right. So basically, here's what it's going to come down to. Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right. Tom Selleck does not have a beard. And he's wow. Magnum P.I. That is true. Oh, man. You're in a stranglehold now. That I'm, is true. I'm yeah. Team Mustache now. You know what? <laughs> right on. Right on. There we go. Beards are just overgrown you mustaches. You have a beard. <laughs> that doesn't mean I like it. <laughs> This is just my face. He sold out. Yeah. Uh, you, that's true. I required you to have that to work. Here. He did. He's like, no more shaving. Okay. This next one uh, should help me win. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to have to take my headphones off to prove this. So okay. I may miss out on some of what you guys are saying, but. That's, that's okay. We won't say anything. Okay. This is for the listening folks. At yeah. home. He said it. Said, okay. Play Eli, that music. Eli is staring desperately but intently into the camera right now. This is my only shot. His beard is holding in all that coolness from the sweat pouring off his forehead and the air conditioner mixing in. He's the coolest. He's got the coolest chest right now. It's very stressed. How are beards not better when you can do this? He's taking off his headphone, folks. Oh, my gosh. He's putting on his Sunday's best right now. <laughs> How Tell are you going to eat through that? Can you use your mustache to make a completely effective COVID-19 <laughs> safety mask? 
<laughs> Impenetrable. I'm Let me see your mustache do this. <laughs> I'm back to Dean Beard. <laughs> wow, that's that's tough. That's tough. Uh, yeah, well, mine mine does filter out some particles, but I'm not sure that it uh, is able to actually filter out as much as that. Uh, that no. is true. I could go work on the front lines with this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> the front lines. Guys, uh, let I, mean, me, I don't know what to say. The front lines. The front lines. <laughs> the, the front lines of oh, what? those front lines. <laughs> like the TV show? Front the, line? I didn't know. <laughs> he can go work on front line like that? <laughs> the, don't take anyone on Let me lines. know in the comments. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm sure that we've got some science professionals mm-hmm. in the feed. Let me know how you feel about this scientific development that I have uh, <laughs> that I have strategized. Let me know what its percentage of effectiveness in preventing disease would be. And then we should take one more final argument okay. as to why it's better than mustaches. I found the scientist that did that study you were talking about earlier. Yeah. I believe his name was Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I know him well. Okay. All right. We've that, got one last chance. Are we ready? Yeah. Are you, are you ready for me to. I'm going to set the stage. Yeah. Sheriff Kaiser, it's your turn. Oh, okay. So here's my best and final reason why the mustache is better than the beard. It's because the mustache doesn't make me look like I live under a bridge. <laughs> If we're being honest, it's probably more the hat right now than the beard. (laughs) (laughs) True point. True point. Well, that brings me to my final argument. Okay. It's true. You could make the argument that my beard makes me look homeless. Right. But beards are better than mustaches because at least... They don't make me look like a county sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, you got to let us know in the comments who won. Settle this once and for all. Please. Team Beard versus Team Mustache. Settle it once and for all. Kids are curious by nature. Do your part to prevent unwanted tragedy from striking in your home by doing these simple tasks. Consider gun locks and or gun safes for storage of firearms. Don't leave your guns unattended where children can reach them. Discuss with your children the rules of firearm safety. Sign your kids up for hunter safety classes. Firearm safety in the household is your responsibility. Do your part to prevent unwanted tragedy from striking in your home. For more information, visit jaspercountysheriff.org. The Gun Shop Show costs money to make. And the Gun Shop Show is brought to you by pecans and cheese. Not really. Actually. We didn't have any sponsors for this segment. And so I decided that I would take a snack break. And also, I decided if you guys are tired of listening to me eat cheese and nuts, that you need to buy an ad. So from now on, if our ad sponsorships don't sell out, you're going to have to listen to me Eat nuts and cheese. In order to sponsor the Gun Shop Show, send us an email at thegunshopshow at gmail.com. Next week, chips. Hey, Adam and Lauren. Uh, thanks for jumping on here so we can make an ad for the show. Yeah, absolutely. We're huge Second Amendment advocates and a big support of the Liberty Tree and the Gun Shop Show. All right, so for the ad, we're going to want to go over what you offer. We do all the standard auto, home insurance, life insurance. We also do a lot of rental property, whether that be commercial rental or residential duplexes, apartment complexes, single family dwellings. And we have specialty policies for all your firearms. Well, you have commercial coverage on my Uh, rental properties so we can put that in the ad too and i was thinking that we'll talk about how you're big supporters of the store and how you come in the store pretty much every day on your lunch break and buy guns 
May, maybe don't mention the everyday thing because my wife does watch the show. But we've been known to come in occasionally, every once in a while. All right, guys, I think that we have everything we need to make an ad. So once I get it done, I'll give you guys a holler to check it out. Trevor, don't put it in the ad, but those guys are in here literally every day on their lunch break. Here's your chance to snatch Santa's stuff at High Winds Casino. Be at High Winds on Saturdays in November and December when 10 players will each get to snatch a prize from Santa's stuff. And on New Year's Eve, one lucky finalist will win Santa's sleigh, a brand new 2021 Jeep Gladiator Sport 4x4 from Vans Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Miami. Entering is easy. Just play with your red card and you'll learn entries for both the Saturday night drawings and the New Year's Eve Jeep giveaway. Snatch Santa's stuff only at High Winds Casino. The Gun Shop Show, brought to you by Little Old Ladies. They're little, and they're old. They're little old ladies. This is the best of the Gun Shop Show. If you've watched for a while, you've heard our repeat caller, Lulu. Here's one of the first times we talked to her and then teleported out to the I am old, you're right. I'm an old lady. So you got that part right, too. But but you didn't get the part right. I don't think you know that I already know about guns, okay? I got lying from a Ruger <laughs> 44 Megs with a matching zoom and scope on it. My Winchester 3030 lever action. My 223 Thompson Center Encore with a fancy lighted crosshair scope. 40 caliber Smith & Wetter 410 um, Snake Charm. Got a 12 gauge that so long ago was 40 caliber Rossi Ranch hand lever action. Um, it's a mare's leg. It's it's really sweet. Unfortunately, though, my shooting skills might be good, but my boating skills are terrible. <laughs> and each one of those guns I just told you I had have been on a float trip with me on a very fast <laughs> river and did not make it. It was sad watching them sink into the murky water and never be seen again. I still have nightmares. So, but thanks again for um, answering my, my, my voicemail and that uh, you're going to offer me some lessons. I'm looking forward to that with my AR-15. But I do have one more comment, and this one is for Logan. Oh. And I'm sure it ain't the first time Logan's ever heard this comment. <laughs> but I just want to say, hey, Logan, you sure do have a pretty mouth. <laughs> 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 near, 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 near. <laughs> now, you guys are really enjoyable. I love your show. Keep it up. You're awesome. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank Bye. You. Wow. Thanks, Thank Lulu. Um, by the way, Lulu, I was on the river that day. Mm hmm. And, and all that list of guns that you had, <laughs> I remember that. So if the government ever comes looking for those guns, Lulu, have them hit me up. I was on the banks of that river and I saw that. <laughs> seen the whole thing go down. Accident. It sounds like she's armed to the teeth, too. Was. Was, was armed to the teeth. Yeah, before was. The boating like the accidents. equalizer or something. Uh -huh. Yeah. She's had right. some experience out on the river. Uh, she sounds like she has uh, well, one had. of everything. Had, yeah, had one I mean, of she everything. She looks like she's in the market again. Uh, or sounds like you it. You anyway. know, and she's tried out a lot of guns, but you know what she hasn't tried out? Uh, What's that? An exclusive firearm from Liberty Tree Guns. That's right. Oh, which yeah, we have right. back in stock right now the ruger security 9 lto mm -hmm. um, about the best bang for the buck in an optic mounted nine millimeter uh, red dot right there on top of a lifetime warranty ruger security 9 great little pistol man i haven't shot that in a while <sighs> i know i kind of miss it it's been a little while since we had him in but we got like a whole a few, it's bunch. a few weeks and so then yeah. we didn't have him for a while yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. i well, wish you could shoot it we, we can what do you mean? Let's fire up uh let's fire up the old teleporter party. Last week you didn't <laughs> want to get in it. You I'm even, all in you now, were... baby. <laughs> no. It took well, one a week. You guys look like you look like you're doing okay. I mean, I haven't seen any crossover uh, DNA stuff going on with you no, guys. No, I feel uh -huh. great. Yeah. I actually yeah. felt better after mm -hmm. I did. But you know what? If you're down to go, I'm down to I'm go. I'm down to go. We might right. as well yeah. do this. Uh do you have the mobile cam? Uh yeah, here. Uh let me reach over and turn it on. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna do fire it, it up right now. Do it. All right, let's go, guys. Let me grab my ear pro real quick and I'm out the dough. Gear protection range gear. Can't you gotta do it right. LTO. That's Grab right. To the porta body! To the porta body! Oh, it smells not great in here. Well, no, it probably doesn't. probably should get some Febreze, oh. maybe. All right, I'll we'll activate the sequence. Okay. All right, Whoa. everybody ready? Whoa. Oh. 
Oh, hopefully we it make it. It's so oh, hot. Woo, we made it, guys. We're at the range. We did it. Sweet. We did it. Are you shooting this one, Logan? I'll shoot this one. Let's get the mag real quick. Ruger Security 9 LTO. We're out here at the range. Whenever Logan's ready, we'll Safety uh, off. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's shoot it. Pretty fast follow-up shots of red dot. That red dot helps a lot. Man, I love this pistol. It I feels good it. to shoot. Red dot makes follow-up shots fast and quick. I'm into it, but we should get back. We should get back. The Ruger Security 9 LTO exclusive from Liberty Tree Guns. I'm gonna go ahead and activate the sequence. Tell me when you guys are ready. All right, let's okay. do it. Hit the go. It's it. great in here. Let's go. <laughs> guys let's get back to the show let's get back oh, man. Ah, that, is shot. that pistol was too much fun i'm having a super time oh. man well, I, I tell you what i uh I feel good when I get back from teleporting. Yeah. And what an asset for the show to be able to just any gun that we see up here that we want to go shoot, mm -hmm. boink, we're yeah. out there shooting it. Name mm -hmm. one other gun shop show that has their own teleportation device. There's yeah. not one. It, nope. Name, just, mm, not one. name any other porta potty that also teleports. Yeah, I can't do it. Name one. I can't do it. The one and only teleporta potty on the gun shop show. That's right. Um, let's, Proprietary. We, we, we have a pay to keep up or we're gonna fall behind so I think it's time to check another voicemail let's do it. let's roll them yeah I was just trying to figure out what's going on with ammo and it was gone it came back and it's gone again you all don't ever seem to have any pistol ammo that is and margarita mix my Cuervo margarita mix good luck finding any I'm good to watch it, the show this weekend well, well, what's the deal with the margarita mix, man? Um, yeah, what's up with that? You know, I realize it's frustrating to be in the middle of a major ammo I'm shortage. I'm super frustrated about I it. I can't imagine this man not being able to find some margarita mix to drown the sorrows in. Right. So I have taken immediate action. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, so? you, you were like a tornado in here trying to fix it all up. You know, when, when I heard that complaint, yeah. I thought... You can, it's the least we can yeah, do. Yeah, I mean, so, you're a generous fellow. So what I've mm -hmm, done is mm -hmm. I've taken all of the spaces on the empty shelves at mm -hmm. Liberty Tree Guns where okay. there would normally be pistol ammo. Yeah. And I have stocked all of the supplies to make margaritas. You have? Yeah. Is that so? Yeah. Go ahead and... Can you put that on screen? Yeah, just to, let's, let's show them. Just do like you a... Know, there uh, it is. Wow. That is the new... So if you come in and your favorite caliber of pistol ammo is out of stock temporarily i mm -hmm, might add mm -hmm. just get uh, drunk just <laughs> you'll have a way to drown your sorrows uh -huh. and, it's nice man yeah uh, i'm just Don't, gonna no one tell the atf i won't but i was gonna point out all we need is tobacco and then we would be the atf yeah that's true mm -hmm. we, so far we've just been the f yeah yeah, um, we need some A. Well, we got the A been, now. We need some T. We yeah. just need some T. Yeah, like some sweet tea or all something. All we've been giving out is Fs. So far, no A's uh -huh. or T's. No. Um, We're going to give them out, though. But Well, hey, man, you know what? When in a pandemic. <laughs> when in yeah. Rome. <laughs> right. That uh, didn't go very well. It was a crash, it was a crash <laughs> landing on yeah. that show. Appreciate um, the the, ac mm -hmm. the actual um, Missouri Liquor Board did make some changes that actually really? loosened the restrictions on alcohol sales. Oh. Uh, we did that down at our restaurant. Yeah, well, that's right. Drive so through windows. You never know. Is that still um, a thing? Yeah, you can still, as far as I know, you can still, with tamper-proof tape, give out margaritas out of the drive through window. Wow. So we're still doing it. I didn't know that. All right. Uh, so this episode is all about listener questions, uh, and we have a voicemail box full, and that is from people calling at 208-918-1776 on the gun shop show. It's 
been a pleasure over the last 18 months serving both the Mount Vernon and the Carthage community with all their wireless needs, whether that's small business or keeping your family connected. Visit us at 100 George E. Phelps Boulevard, Carthage, Missouri, or 417-317-6342. If you need a simple upgrade to add a line or need help with a plan change, come by and let one of our representatives help you out. Our Mount Vernon location is located at 318 West Mount Vernon Boulevard. Our phone number is 417-737-9669, or you can visit our Facebook page at Verizon Wireless Mount Vernon. We have all the accessories for your favorite models, such as the S20 Ultra, maybe it's the 11 Pro Max, or the Google Pixel 4. For just a simple plan change, an upgrade, or to add a new line to your account, stop by one of our convenient locations or check us out on social media. To get connected or stay connected to Verizon Wireless, the nation's best network. Thank you. We will see you soon. Hey everybody, Eli here, and I'm really excited to tell you that the Gun Shop Show is brought to you by one of my favorite places on earth. Located here in my hometown of Carthage on the beautiful historic square, the Emporium on the Square, and the Woodshed. It's a art gallery, an event center, a gift shop, they have art classes, and there's very unique Americana artwork from famous artists like Andy Thomas. They handle a lot of his original framing. Just has this incredible old school vibe, and you can feel the history coming through have to check out the art gallery but then as you work your way to the back my favorite part the woodshed had a lot of great meals in here they've got burgers i love their catfish excellent chicken and waffles even it's incredible and it's also a music venue so we got to see my favorite band of all time the ben miller band ceiling was literally raining down they were rocking so hard but the best thing owned by one of my favorite people on earth that's cherry babcock check out the emporium on the square and the woodshed Hey podcast listeners and live stream viewers, I wanted to let you know that the Gun Shop Show is made possible by our friends at MidAmerica RV. Being in the customer service industry, I have a really high standard for how customers are treated. MidAmerica RV does it right. I've got my RV through their dealership and I've taken it all over the country. Uh, we made it to South Padre Island. We've gone to Colorado several times. And if you've ever owned an RV, you know there's a lot that comes with it. So who you get it from matters and it's extremely important that you have support after the sale uh, they're located just outside of Carthage they have a really vast inventory and they are home of I believe they call it a forever warranty so I urge you if you're in the market for one to check them out uh, it's a really fun and can be a very affordable way to get your trips in so visit them at midamericarv.com we appreciate their support of the gun shop show if you're in the market for a travel trailer or fifth wheel check out midamerica RV. Land is everything to me. Uh, when I was born, I was brought home to the family farm, uh, was raised, learned work ethic there, learned uh, appreciation and respect for life and the land itself, and it just became second nature. I had to be there all the time. Whenever I wasn't on the land, I was not happy. But I learned to understand the land, learned to respect it, you know, learned family values. You know, my wife and I have bought a farm. Uh, besides the one we live on, and uh, it has just been a, it's been a great investment, and it's been some place that my son and I have shared the passion of hunting together, and you know it's just it uh, you know land has been you know land has been everything in my life. It has kind of kept kept me focused and and uh, gave me a place to be. It's kind of kept me grounded. Hey, you know what makes this The Gun Shop Show possible? It's people who believe in the show. And someone who has believed in the show from the very beginning is my good friend Chris Chapman, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. Here's a message from Chris. Guys, uh, my name is Chris Chapman, uh, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. And uh, I just want to take a few seconds here to let you know that we are going to be uh, proud sponsors of The Gun Shop Show. And uh, we, we appreciate everything that them guys are doing over there and we just wanna show them our support. Thank you. So whether you have two chickens or 2,000 acres, Chris is your man. Give him a call. I guess that's pretty much the ad. Whitehead Farm Supply. Seriously?
This is the best of the gun shop show. We had to make a highlight show because Trevor took a week off. Here's where we went to the range and figured out what a whippet gun was. I've been a little tired lately. Oh, you've been sleepy, dude? I've been sleepy, too, but probably not for the same reasons that you've I've been, been sleepy. sleepy. Too. I've been yeah. staying up too late. Doctor, yeah. scientist, man. I've been working on a secret project. Ooh, how secret? Bottom secret? Middle secret? It, no. Do I, do I not know about this? Top secret. Oh. Um, that top secret. Ooh. I mean, I, you guys have caught little bits and pieces of it, but mm-hmm. uh, I've been working on a scientific premise. Yeah. You know? That we could use for the show. Yeah. Um, Molecular. Molecular. uh, Oh, all the way down to Transferability. Oh. Is that a toaster that plates the food for you? No. Oh. It's... Would that be I didn't want to say it, but it's... How about a a toaster that butters your bread for you? Oh, my God. If you can make that... Sprays it on, spritz it. That's what you're working on. I'm on the first 10. I've been working on teleportation. Oh. Yeah. Like... I'm this close. That's pretty close, dude. Yeah. That's pretty close. The only thing is, uh huh. So I've got taking taking a person or things, uh huh, and teleporting it to another dimension or yeah. location. Right. Okay. That's where you want to in go. live time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So but there's more than in one in live time. Yeah. Okay. But um, I'm having trouble with the container. Oh. So like whatever. I've tried a cardboard box, mm-hmm. you know, I get in it, I set yeah. the settings on right. the mm-hmm. proprietary technology. Right. It's always proprietary. Mm-hmm. Well, it has to be. And it's getting destroyed in transport. Yeah. You know, because you got to, uh-huh. so what I what I need to, to, to round out the project. Wait, yeah. so you're saying you can teleport from one place to another, but you can't go back? Yeah, because I'm getting stuck there. Oh, which is, yikes. You have to you keep know. walking, huh? Yeah, but if I had, what I need is like... A sturdy but lightweight enclosure. Okay. Maybe three foot by three foot. Yeah. Like a- Let me ask you something. Yeah. Does color make a difference? Because I got... I know a guy. No, I mean, just... I need to have a door on the front. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, need to have a handle. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah need to be about big enough that a person can step into it comfortably, carry, right. you know, carrying the th- items that they want to teleport uh-huh. with. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and that way we, we can use it on the show. Right. Like if we want to take something out and, you mm-hmm. know, shoot it. And I would say, let's just see how this coach gun is. Yeah. Um, we would just climb into this, whatever the device is, right? Whatever the structure is, uh-huh. um, something just yay big, yeah, made out of like a polymer, yeah, or something. Okay. All so right. if you guys have anything like that, um, that would I would not think of anything. Be sleepy on the show no, if I had I can't that. Think of anything I can't either. Think of anything. Let's no. check the voicemail. Okay. Let's do it. Let me check it. Get let's get a voicemail up and going here. Yeah, guys. let's come on. Jeez. Come on, guys. Get the yeah, voicemail. Yeah, we gotta answer those voicemails. Yeah. Let's get that voicemail. We're kind of slacking. Yeah, the I'm accessing apartment. the number, which okay. is 208 918 Hey guys, this is Jason from Carthage. I have a question about some uh, non lethal defense options if you had anything like that and uh, if you do, what are they? I'm not going to answer yeah, Jason's question. Just we need to check voicemail number one. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah good call. Yeah. Let's check that. Hey, guys. This is Alan calling from Las Vegas. I've heard. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Let's try that again. Las hey, Vegas. guys. This is Alan calling from Las Vegas. I've heard Bonnie carried something called a whippet gun. Uh, what exactly is a whippet gun? Thanks. Yeah. What exactly is a whippet gun? Okay. So thank you, Alan, from, from Las Vegas. From Las Vegas. Um, Las Vegas. What is a whippet gun? So there's some evidence that maybe Clyde term, uh, coined the term whippet. Mm-hmm. And wh- where did you pick up this evidence? Uh, just articles that I read. Okay. Um, the, and they reference the fact that some uh-huh. of the first times that you can find it in writing was Clyde saying that he used a whippet gun. Right. Um, okay. mm-hmm. So what a whip. Uh, I think we talk about it at the range. So rather yeah. than me sitting here, let's Oops. go, uh, you know, 
we we went out to the range earlier this week to test this premise. Um, let's roll that. Clyde Barrow of Bonnie and Clyde seems to have coined a term. Now maybe it was going around during that era anyway, but that is the Whippet gun, uh, which is a shortened shotgun that they would carry concealed under a coat or a garment. Um, obviously, this is what I would imagine maybe a modern iteration of a Whippet gun is. So we have a Mossberg shockwave here. Uh, Clyde's gun and even Bonnie had her own Whippet gun which is a Remington Model 11 um, cut down and then you know of course it would have had a normal stock that they would have cut off short and they took a leather strap a short leather strap not like a normal sling and they would uh, just loop it around from end to end of the stock and then they would wear it under a jacket now just a couple things here one uh, this is this gun obviously is has changed and evolved over the years also so have coats people don't really wear coats long enough to conceal a gun anymore um, in fact wearing a long coat now is kind of an indicator for law enforcement that someone might be trying to conceal something so you can see where this premise doesn't really work but we're gonna test whether or not you could even open a coat, access a gun, and fire it reliably. All right, caveat, disclaimer. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Hits Don't try it. this. First of all, right. This is not normal um, use of a firearm. It's not even recommended. Right. Uh, I can mm -hmm. rule out for you before we even proceed that the premise of a whippet gun mm -hmm. is not really valid for personal defense no. not really valid for self-defense doesn't have any police application but the story was that they could carry these guns and we know bonnie died with her 20 gauge remington 11 whippet gun near her body um we want to know just how effective was that or was it something that they believed in but wouldn't really have worked so they pulled these things out uh, at a bank or a store and used it to threaten a clerk but could they have actually been effective with it is what we wanted to determine so right. mm -hmm. uh, let's find out if that's possible let's do it So let me just tell you, it went a little smoother than I thought, you know, being able to carry it on your shoulder and fire it from the hip. Mm -hmm. um, this was a Mossberg shockwave on a little uh, rifle sling that we threw on it. And uh, so obviously at a distance of we, we did seven yards right. that, you know, worked. Mm -hmm. but. My coat wasn't long enough. No. No, no we it. needed a real world uh, simulation. Because the whole idea was this. that they could walk in somewhere and have it concealed. Yeah, so you never know what's on them. Yeah, and you want to be inconspicuous too, exactly. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't so. want to stand out. Or right. Well. Nowadays, you can't really wear a coat that long no. and be inconspicuous. No, I mean, it, you have to wear other things that are less conspicuous. Yeah. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. see. Let's see. Let's see what we got. See, I think. The Whippet gun is made more by the garment than by the gun. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He actually did it. He managed to conceal the, For the shock radio wave listener. Under Trevor is wearing a pink bathrobe. <laughs> more the length, <laughs> full length of bathrobe. The, air. <laughs> the more surprising style. thing. Gun is still in question. Can't see it. You, no, he, he's hiding that shockwave, which is sticking way All out right, from the bottom of my it. coat. He can't see it. Let's watch what happens. Yeah, I pulled it out in great <laughs> Matrix fashion. Yeah, that was pretty good. That is a headshot. All right, let's see what else we can do with the Whippet when we get back. Uh, remember, you can always get the podcast Clyde later. Buck died from a massive head wound. Uh, open for several days. Gun Shop Show. Oh. 
Hey everyone, The Gun Shop Show is brought to you by Carthage Lock and Key. If you need anything to do with a lock or a key... To success! Did they tell you to say that? No, I, I just thought it sounded good. They have a mobile service, so they can come to you and cut pretty much any kind of key. To success! Or if you lock your keys in your to car... Success. I'm talking even security modern chip keys. To success! Trevor, could you just just jingle the name of the uh, business? Okay. 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 Yeah, I'll do it good this time. So, with all of my properties and all of the needs I have, I trust... Carthage Lock and Key! To success! Hey folks, I had to learn the hard way that a good home inspection makes a difference when you're buying a home. Our new sponsor, All Points Inspections, can provide just that. Here's a message from Corey from All Points Inspections. Hey guys, uh, Corey Hines here, uh, owner of All Points Inspections. Up on a roof right now, currently doing a roof inspection, checking for leaks, but I am excited to announce that I am a new sponsor with the Gun Shop Show. Those guys are awesome over there. It's been kind of a Saturday morning routine for me now to join in on the conversations. Uh, just a bunch of good group of guys all around, followers, watchers. Check them out. If you guys need home inspections, give me a call. 417-439-9229. Thank you. This is the best of the gun shop show. Here's one of the great moments from checking the voicemail where we talk about rock salt and shotguns. And during the last segment, we had a customer looking at uh, one of the guns behind me. And so Logan had to sneak in because we, even at the expense of this production which is now famous right by the way yeah this is a big deal right we're huge actually in australia believe it or not i think there's like two people watching us over there there's only like five or six people in australia (laughs) something like that i think seven that's 50 percent of the population yeah that's pretty impressive numbers um you know we're on tv now we're on Mm -hmm. two radio stations which by the way yeah welcome Springfield, Missouri. Yeah, welcome KSGF listeners. You're like, you know what? I feel like Springfield mm-hmm. is like my more sophisticated cousins that live. <laughs> they're up they're up like the road. The, yeah, they're like your city cousins. Yeah, they got their craft together. <laughs> um, they're working corporate jobs. Yeah, and you know? um, they're they're the ones that like your family's like. Why can't you be more like Kyle? <laughs> right, and you know that. <laughs> So, <laughs> so Springfield is Kyle in this so situation. So we want your influence. Mm-hmm. Springfield, call us, 208-918-1776, and let us know mm-hmm. if you're embarrassed to yeah. be affiliated <laughs> with us. Uh, yeah, we'll act like we don't. We won't make eye contact with you yeah, if it's that bad. However you want us to play it off. But <laughs> welcome on KSGF. We're going to be coming to you every Sunday. So mm-hmm. uh, tune in. And if you can't make it on the radio, make sure you grab the podcast or check it out on YouTube. Yeah, it's an even better listen mm-hmm. than it is a watch. Yeah, That's you don't have to see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's the good thing. Yep. So right before the break, we had a caller. Uh, and the question was... I have some problem dogs on my farm. They're getting in trash. They're chasing cattle. Uh, I have heard the caller said that there is such a thing as a rock salt shotgun load. Mm -hmm. So let me just make a caveat real quick. Okay. Caveat it. Let's go full screen with you. Caveat away. I don't recommend that you shoot at dogs. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you how to shoot at your neighbor's dogs. Um, I'm going to tell you the unfortunate reality of sometimes how farmers and people who live in rural areas have to deal with pests. Now, you are entitled under state law to protect your livestock from being harmed, uh, up to and including taking out things that threaten it. 
But I think the caller's intent was, how do I just kind of make the dogs know that they're not welcome here? And that can absolutely be done. Yeah. Dogs are instinctive, just like wild animals. They mm -hmm. know when there's a threat and they can be trained very quickly when mm -hmm. something is a threat or a deterrent to them. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned um, a BB or pellet yeah, gun. Yeah, a BB I've, gun. But now that yeah. I'm thinking about it, a water hose, you know, high speed water. You're not going to hurt the dog. Well, a lot of people don't have access to a well, get, lot get of water access. hose. That'll, so let get me tell you, uh, I'm going to answer the question, okay, All about right. rock salt. Okay. Because that was a thing that was mm -hmm. um, more of an old school thing, but yeah. people do it. And I look, and I checked, they're actually still available. But mm -hmm. okay. let, me, let me show you first. Um, the way a shotgun shell works is you have a primer in the back. And again, if you're listening on the radio, we're showing all of this because there's always video to what we do here on the gun shop show uh, and you can go to facebook.com slash liberty tree guns and join in on that but i've got a shotgun shell in my hand you have uh, the primer end and then on the other end crimped down is the hey, projectiles hey like why don't you use the voicemail camera for that good call oh, yeah yeah, yeah. there we call. go there yeah. you oh, go look at that, that, that. See, this is why we keep you around logan see, logan's it's, always solving problems mm-hmm Ah, good job. Good suggestion. God, Look at I'm that. So proud of you now right you're now, getting Logan. all the details. Thanks, that's <laughs> this is a highlight. Oh, moment. that looks so good. We it put together oh, your man. your resume on the gun shop show. This yeah. will be one right. of those moments. It's gonna be at the top of the list. <laughs> okay, so uh, essentially before this is crimped down, you pour in mm -hmm. generally on shotgun shells, it's either buckshot or birdshot. Mm -hmm. Birdshot being like a fine uh uh, lead pellet that, right. that mm -hmm. would obviously penetrate and take down a bird right. or small game. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. What people would do is load in rock salt. So heavy grain mm -hmm. granulated salt. And um, well, they actually still sell shotgun shells loaded that way. Mm. Um, and the reason is they'll still fly through the air. They'll still create a pattern. Uh, if you want to show, uh, that was just one link that we found of a place that still shell. Uh, Gum gully. Yeah, still sells rock salt loads. That was a way to do a few things. It still gave the big boom, which is the thing that when, when those animals start to associate a threat with that sound, mm -hmm. then all it takes is that sound. Right. And shotguns are a pretty common thing to use mm -hmm. for this because they're not going to over penetrate. So even if you're using regular birdshot shells, you have, um, you know, within probably 50, 60 yards of immediate threat area where it would penetrate. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, it might hit it and not even penetrate. Yeah. And so... Uh, one of the things that, that I witnessed growing up, again, I'm not recommending that you do this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. was, um, and this is after animals had been persistent. You know, you tried all, right. you tried tried the, all the nice ways. The shoeing, the throwing a stick, throwing mm -hmm. a rock, and then, um, yeah. you know. Was, yeah. Yeah, boy. The, yeah. And, and you got to keep in mind, some of these, uh, they're almost like feral dogs. They're right. Not, they're not like your, oh, he just wanted mm -hmm. petted, and then yeah. there, you can grab him by yeah, the collar. he just wanted some smooches. This mm -hmm. is sometimes, this is uh, dogs that are aggressive. If right. you get up, they're skittish, and they... Yeah. We, they're basically like a Bonnie and Clyde version of a dog, right? <laughs> dog. Um, and so bringing so, it home, man. So very good. Bring it all <laughs> back around. Um, no, what... What we would experience when we dealt with these difficult and sometimes damaging and violent animals is what I what I saw happen was uh, a farmer would either fire around above them or yeah. do something so that they turn. Mm -hmm. and, the, and even then, even though they were a problem animal, they still didn't want to uh, take their eye out or anything like that. Right. So what I would see was get them to, to where they turned and run mm -hmm. and then they would pop them in the rear end right. area. At least with, trying to do, do them right. You yeah. Know. Bird shot. Mm -hmm. um, and because they would learn and they right. wouldn't come back and they wouldn't engage in whatever the activity was. Mm -hmm. So you can do that. Although pellet guns work really good and it doesn't, you know, the big boom is obviously more menacing sounding, but it doesn't, mm -hmm. it's not necessary to deter the, those animals and you can get pretty decent range on yeah. a pellet gun with low um 
you know, velocity to kind of accomplish the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, there are also lots of other less lethal options you can buy in shotgun rounds up to and including uh, beanbag rounds and yeah. pepper ball rounds. And yeah. those things um, could also be used to deter unwanted pests. Right. Again, I don't recommend shooting a firearm at a dog, but if you had to, or if a farmer uh, if a farmer, not me, were giving you advice, that's probably what they would tell you. You know, Eli, while you were describing that shotgun shell and the front end of it, I couldn't help but remember that uh, crimping ain't easy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Crimping, it ain't easy. It's I really wasn't going to laugh, and then I almost spit-taked. <laughs> yeah. So it, it snuck up on me. Uh, that's that, a, was, that was one of those That's jokes. one of those backdoor jokes. Yeah. Um, and, and, but actually, crimping is easy with one of the many reloading presses available at Liberty Tree Guns. <laughs> it's also com. fun, too. It's also fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what they used to call me back. They back used to in, call you fun? Uh, big crimping. Oh, big crimping. Oh. Yeah. Uh, is that because always, you would always crimp your hair? I was always crimping. Uh, no, but I do have kind of a... <laughs> Uh, Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, you're looking like really a, youthful there, yeah, man. Yeah, I look Gosh. very like Maroon 5. You right know now. what? Mm -hmm. You know what I notice is that little spike right there, mm -hmm. it takes all the focus off of your widow's peak. Oh, well, I'm peaking. I'm really <laughs> yeah. peaking. Yeah. Uh, that's the He's peaking in two, but you got, yeah, you got make, peaks and valleys. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, nothing like a $60 webcam do. Mm-hmm. To Drop. really shine up the old forehead. <laughs> to really bring in the uh, uh, receding hairline. Right. In fact, I was mm -hmm. actually reading on the back of this, and this is a uh, Logitech hairline 450. Oh, yeah? yeah we should get the one designed. that actually fills in your hair. It's you know? actually designed to... <laughs> uh, to Highlight, sure. yeah, yeah. Oh, that actually, is such an awesome shot. It right actually doesn't pick up anything but receding hairlines uh -huh. properly. Yeah, and then also blasts them with light. Right, yeah. I mean, as if you hadn't seen it well enough. <laughs> yeah, as if I didn't know. It's trying to let me know. <laughs> it's your it's, turn next, Logan. Okay, all right. Do we uh, do we have time for the third voicemail? Because this thing uh, keeps piling up. Yeah, yeah. We have about a minute out. Oh man, so, a minute. Okay, oh, so I'm yeah. gonna have to. I'm gonna take the minute mm -hmm. to. Take the floor. To take, let me take the floor for a minute. Warm their hearts. The floor is yours. So first of all, the gun shop show coming to radio stations and TV stations all across this great land. That's we need nice. your help. Tell mm -hmm. your local station mm -hmm. that you want the gun shop show on. Tell them. We're going to be Tell knocking on those doors. Mm -hmm. The other thing you can do is stay Tell tuned. Them. When we end on the radio, you can join the real after party, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is the overflow. So yeah, we third. also uh, are in the uh, the comments. We like to comment with yeah. our fans. Yeah. So yeah. We're, we we're staying there, mm -hmm. in there like swimming. Yeah, we're not, we're not abandoning in you like somebody's, like somebody's parents. Okay. So you can stay right me. here on the live stream, or if you're on the radio, go to facebook.com. Type in Liberty Tree Guns. You can find the feed right there. You can stay with us on the overflow of the Gun Shop Show. Hey.